Yo, listen up, it's on 2.0. Brand new beat and smooth the flow. Got a cool mic that makes less noise. No more bleeding for the girls and boys. Still too poor for a proper song, but I like that beat. Don't get me wrong. Die tonight with the drizzle. Yes, hello, and welcome to another edition of the Chronicles of the Dardanite Town of Dead Mansion of 1003 Deaths, featuring the Metacoalition Apostle, Day 10. Finally, the fabled Day 10. What a letdown, am I right? This won't be relevant later, but I really don't care. I'm going to announce it in this video anyways. I'm sorry it took so long to release. I'm sorry I'm so far behind. I will catch up soon, which means any time between a few minutes and before the end of time. But you didn't come to listen to me apologize for procrastinating or listen to my fat new tune, did ya? You? you want to see your progress, right? No deaths and no zeds got in, and there was wind to a varying direction in the north. Is it just me, or is all of our windstorms in the north? I think so. Our well is equal to or drier than that of the Sahara. Right now, its only possible use is to shout an epic one-liner that will be quoted by billions before kicking some prick right into it. Busy day for our workers as we finish the razor wall, automatic sprinklers, hydraulic network, and the falls town. Yay! We're quickly running out of crap to build. Because of the attack predicted in a few days, which you'll see shortly, we have decided to put a hold on the watchtower and go for some defensive focus upgrades. Sad, but necessary. Wish us luck. Ready for something new, but not really? Here comes the crap we found. I nice, uh, This stuff don't sucks. Don't do stuff you got here. Not really anything good or special today. Probably random bits of food, junk for building, and more than one defensive object. We keep finding cement, as you can see, which wouldn't be so bad if we had a water building on our map, which we don't. Our whole water supply is dependent on jerry cans, and they aren't very reliable either. Some people have decided to take part in our zombie defense initiative, which involves running to a border and mindlessly assaulting as many zombies as possible in random directions. I thought it was a great plan. There you have it, our predictor. Zed's nearly double in a single night. Death for most towns, but we're pro, remember? This will be no problem. Or will it? No, probably not. But perhaps? No, but still no. My point being, in our overview, we are already up to 971 defense, thanks largely to our lovely Vols Town, and soon our defensive focus upgrade. We should be just fine. Step 1, Razor Wall. Step 2, Macerator. Step 3, and Step 4 is Profit. Wow! Something happened in our forums for once. Something I personally found funny, but I guess no one else did. But I'm going to put it here anyways. In one of our raffle threads, someone opened up with a 99. I failed miserably to beat such a number, but that's not important. Simon wished for 100 at first, but then decided he'd rather have a 1. His wish was so powerful, he was granted two ones. Ah, <sighs> uh, yeah. Yep. Now it's time for some daily words of wisdom. Uh, you it ass. feels me. Today's advice comes from Lil Mary, the same Lil Mary that found the building in the east back on day two or so. Remember? Oh, did I say Larigy? I meant Lil Mary. She suggests people keep their well drained of water so that water defenses like the water turrets only fire off when you want them to, not every single night. Combining the upgraded water turrets with the pump boats will effectively create a very high temporary defense on the nights it's needed. Thanks, little Mary. My mind is drawing a blank on a smart-ass comment I can make. No big loss. Tune in whenever I stop being lazy to see if we die tonight. <laughs>